Exodus 31. 1 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 2 See, I have called by name Bezaleel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. 3 And I have filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, and in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. 4 To devise cunning works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass. 5 And in cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of timber, to work in all manner of workmanship. 6 And I, behold, I have given with him Ahaliab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, and in the hearts of all that are wise-hearted I have put wisdom, that they may make all that I have commanded thee. 7 The tabernacle of the congregation, and the ark of the testimony, and the mercy seat that is thereupon, and all the furniture of the tabernacle. 8 And the table and his furniture, and the pure candlestick with all his furniture, and the altar of incense. 9 And the altar of burnt offering with all his furniture, and the labor and his foot. 10 And the cloths of service, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons, to minister in the priest's office. 11 And the anointing oil, and sweet incense for the holy place, according to all that I have commanded thee shall they do. 12 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 13 Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Verily my Sabbaths ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generations, that ye may know that I am the Lord that doth sanctify you. 14 Ye shall keep the Sabbath therefore, for it is holy unto you, every one that defileth it shall surely be put to death, for whosoever doth any work therein, that soul shall be cut off from among his people. 15 Six days may work be done, but in the seventh is the Sabbath of rest, holy to the Lord, whosoever doth any work in the Sabbath day, he shall surely be put to death. 16 Wherefore the children of Israel shall keep the Sabbath, to observe the Sabbath throughout their generations, for a perpetual covenant. 17 It is a sign between me and the children of Israel forever, for in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and on the seventh day he rested, and was refreshed. 18 And he gave unto Moses, when he had made an end of communing with him upon Mount Sinai, two tables of testimony, tables of stone, written with the finger of God. Exodus 32 1 And when the people saw that Moses delayed to come down out of the mount, the people gathered themselves together unto Aaron, and said unto him, Up, make us gods, which shall go before us, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. 2 And Aaron said unto them, Break off the golden earrings, which are in the ears of your wives, of your sons, and of your daughters, and bring them unto me. 3 And all the people break off the golden earrings which were in their ears, and brought them unto Aaron. 4 And he received them at their hand, and fashioned it with a graving tool, after he had made it a molten calf, and they said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. 5 And when Aaron saw it, he built an altar before it, and Aaron made proclamation, and said, Tomorrow is a feast to the Lord. 6 And they rose up early on the morrow, and offered burnt offerings, and brought peace offerings, and the people sat down to eat and to drink, and rose up to play. 7 And the Lord said unto Moses, Go, get thee down, for thy people, which thou broughtest out of the land of Egypt, have corrupted themselves. 8 They have turned aside quickly out of the way which I commanded them, they have made them a molten calf, and have worshipped it, and have sacrificed thereunto, and said, These be thy gods, O Israel, which have brought thee up out of the land of Egypt. 9 And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and, behold, it is a stiff-necked people. 10 Now therefore let me alone, that my wrath may wax hot against them, and that I may consume them, and I will make of thee a great nation. 11 And Moses besought the Lord his God, and said, Lord, why doth thy wrath wax hot against thy people, which thou hast brought forth out of the land of Egypt with great power, and with a mighty hand? 12 Wherefore should the Egyptians speak, and say, For mischief did he bring them out, to slay them in the mountains, 
and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from thy fierce wrath, and repent of this evil against thy people. 13 Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, thy servants, to whom thou swearest by thine own self, and saidst unto them, I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have spoken of will I give unto your seed, and they shall inherit it forever. 14 And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. 15 And Moses turned, and went down from the mount, and the two tables of the testimony were in his hand, the tables were written on both their sides, on the one side and on the other were they written. 16 And the tables were the work of God, and the writing was the writing of God, graven upon the tables. 17 And when Joshua heard the noise of the people as they shouted, he said unto Moses, There is a noise of war in the camp. 18 And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. 19 And it came to pass, as soon as he came nigh unto the camp, that he saw the calf, and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot, and he cast the tables out of his hands, and brake them beneath the mount. 20 And he took the calf which they had made, and burnt it in the fire, and ground it to powder, and strawed it upon the water, and made the children of Israel drink of it. 21 And Moses said unto Aaron, What did this people unto thee, that thou hast brought so great a sin upon them? 22 And Aaron said, Let not the anger of my Lord wax hot, thou knowest the people, that they are set on mischief. 23 For they said unto me, Make us gods, which shall go before us, for as for this Moses, the man that brought us up out of the land of Egypt, we wot not what is become of him. 24 And I said unto them, Whosoever hath any gold, let them break it off. So they gave it me, then I cast it into the fire, and there came out this calf. 25 And when Moses saw that the people were naked, for Aaron had made them naked unto their shame among their enemies. 26 Then Moses stood in the gate of the camp, and said, Who is on the Lord's side? Let him come unto me. And all the sons of Levi gathered themselves together unto him. 27 And he said unto them, Thus saith the Lord God of Israel, Put every man his sword by his side, and go in and out from gate to gate throughout the camp, and slay every man his brother, and every man his companion, and every man his neighbor. 28 And the children of Levi did according to the word of Moses, and there fell of the people that day about three thousand men. 29 For Moses had said, Consecrate yourselves today to the Lord, even every man upon his son, and upon his brother, that he may bestow upon you a blessing this day. 30 And it came to pass on the morrow, that Moses said unto the people, Ye have sinned a great sin, and now I will go up unto the Lord, peradventure I shall make an atonement for your sin. 31 And Moses returned unto the Lord, and said, Oh, this people have sinned a great sin, and have made them gods of gold. 32 Yet now, if thou wilt forgive their sin, and if not, blot me, I pray thee, out of thy book which thou hast written. 33 And the Lord said unto Moses, Whosoever hath sinned against me, him will I blot out of my book. 34 Therefore now go, lead the people unto the place of which I have spoken unto thee, behold, mine angel shall go before thee, nevertheless in the day when I visit I will visit their sin upon them. 35 And the Lord plagued the people, because they made the calf, which Aaron made. Exodus 33 1 And the Lord said unto Moses, Depart, and go up hence, thou and the people which thou hast brought up out of the land of Egypt, unto the land which I swear unto Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, saying, Unto thy seed will I give it. 2 And I will send an angel before thee, and I will drive out the Canaanite, the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Peretzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite. 3 Unto a land flowing with milk and honey, for I will not go up in the midst of thee, for thou art a stiff-necked people, lest I consume thee in the way. 4 And when the people heard these evil tidings, they mourned, and no man did put on him his ornaments. 5 For the Lord had said unto Moses, Say unto the children of Israel, Ye are a stiff-necked people, 
I will come up into the midst of thee in a moment, and consume thee, therefore now put off thy ornaments from thee, that I may know what to do unto thee. 6 And the children of Israel stripped themselves of their ornaments by the Mount Horeb. 7 And Moses took the tabernacle, and pitched it without the camp, afar off from the camp, and called it the tabernacle of the congregation. And it came to pass, that every one which sought the Lord went out unto the tabernacle of the congregation, which was without the camp. 8 And it came to pass, when Moses went out unto the tabernacle, that all the people rose up, and stood every man at his tent door, and looked after Moses, until he was gone into the tabernacle. 9 And it came to pass, as Moses entered into the tabernacle, the cloudy pillar descended, and stood at the door of the tabernacle, and the Lord talked with Moses. 10 And all the people saw the cloudy pillar stand at the tabernacle door, and all the people rose up and worshipped, every man in his tent door. 11 And the Lord spake unto Moses face to face, as a man speaketh unto his friend. And he turned again into the camp, but his servant Joshua, the son of Nun, a young man, departed not out of the tabernacle. 12 And Moses said unto the Lord, See, thou sayest unto me, Bring up this people, and thou hast not let me know whom thou wilt send with me. Yet thou hast said, I know thee by name, and thou hast also found grace in my sight. 13 Now therefore, I pray thee, if I have found grace in thy sight, shew me now thy way, that I may know thee, that I may find grace in thy sight, and consider that this nation is thy people. 14 And he said, My presence shall go with thee, and I will give thee rest. 15 And he said unto him, If thy presence go not with me, carry us not up hence. 16 For wherein shall it be known here that I and thy people have found grace in thy sight? Is it not in that thou goest with us? So shall we be separated, I and thy people, from all the people that are upon the face of the earth. 17 And the Lord said unto Moses, I will do this thing also that thou hast spoken, for thou hast found grace in my sight, and I know thee by name. 18 And he said, I beseech thee, shew me thy glory. 19 And he said, I will make all my goodness pass before thee, and I will proclaim the name of the Lord before thee, and will be gracious to whom I will be gracious, and will shew mercy on whom I will shew mercy. 20 And he said, Thou canst not see my face, for there shall no man see me, and live. 21 And the Lord said, Behold, there is a place by me, and thou shalt stand upon a rock. 22 And it shall come to pass, while my glory passeth by, that I will put thee in a clift of the rock, and will cover thee with my hand while I pass by. 23 And I will take away mine hand, and thou shalt see my back parts, but my face shall not be seen. Exodus 34 1 And the Lord said unto Moses, Hew thee two tables of stone like unto the first, and I will write upon these tables the words that were in the first tables, which thou breakest. 2 And be ready in the morning, and come up in the morning unto Mount Sinai, and present thyself there to me in the top of the mount. 3 And no man shall come up with thee, neither let any man be seen throughout all the mount, neither let the flocks nor herds feed before that mount. 4 And he hewed two tables of stone like unto the first, and Moses rose up early in the morning, and went up unto Mount Sinai, as the Lord had commanded him, and took in his hand the two tables of stone. 5 And the Lord descended in the cloud, and stood with him there, and proclaimed the name of the Lord. 6 And the Lord passed by before him, and proclaimed, The Lord, the Lord God, merciful and gracious, long-suffering, and abundant in goodness and truth. 7 Keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and that will by no means clear the guilty, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, and upon the children's children, unto the third and to the fourth generation. 8 And Moses made haste, and bowed his head toward the earth, and worshipped. 9 And he said, If now I have found grace in thy sight, O Lord, let my Lord, I pray thee, go among us, for it is a stiff-necked people, and pardon our iniquity and our sin, and take us for thine inheritance. 10 And he said, Behold, I make a covenant, 
before all thy people I will do marvels, such as have not been done in all the earth, nor in any nation, and all the people among which thou art shall see the work of the Lord, for it is a terrible thing that I will do with thee. 11 Observe thou that which I command thee this day, behold, I drive out before thee the Amorite, and the Canaanite, and the Hittite, and the Peretzite, and the Hivite, and the Jebusite. 12 Take heed to thyself, lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land whither thou goest, lest it be for a snare in the midst of thee. 13 But ye shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groves. 14 For thou shalt worship no other god, for the Lord, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous God. 15 Lest thou make a covenant with the inhabitants of the land, and they go a whoring after their gods, and do sacrifice unto their gods, and one call thee, and thou eat of his sacrifice. 16 And thou take of their daughters unto thy sons, and their daughters go a whoring after their gods, and make thy sons go a whoring after their gods. 17 Thou shalt make thee no molten gods. 18 The feast of unleavened bread shalt thou keep. Seven days thou shalt eat unleavened bread, as I commanded thee, in the time of the month of Eve, for in the month of Eve thou camest out from Egypt. 19 All that openeth the matrix is mine, and every firstling among thy cattle, whether ox or sheep, that is male. 20 But the firstling of an ass thou shalt redeem with a lamb, and if thou redeem him not, then shalt thou break his neck. All the firstborn of thy sons thou shalt redeem and none shall appear before me empty. 21 Six days thou shalt work, but on the seventh day thou shalt rest, in earing time and in harvest thou shalt rest. 22 And thou shalt observe the feast of weeks, of the first fruits of wheat harvest, and the feast of ingathering at the year's end. 23 Thrice in the year shall all your men children appear before the Lord God, the God of Israel. 24 For I will cast out the nations before thee, and enlarge thy borders, neither shall any man desire thy land, when thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord thy God thrice in the year. 25 Thou shalt not offer the blood of my sacrifice with leaven, neither shall the sacrifice of the feast of the Passover be left unto the morning. 26 The first of the first fruits of thy land thou shalt bring unto the house of the Lord thy God. Thou shalt not see the kid in his mother's milk. 27 And the Lord said unto Moses, Write thou these words, for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel. 28 And he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights, he did neither eat bread, nor drink water. And he wrote upon the tables the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. 29 And it came to pass, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tables of testimony in Moses' hand, when he came down from the mount, that Moses wist not that the skin of his face shone while he talked with him. 30 And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid to come nigh him. 31 And Moses called unto them, and Aaron and all the rulers of the congregation returned unto him, and Moses talked with them. 32 And afterward all the children of Israel came nigh and he gave them in commandment all that the Lord had spoken with him in Mount Sinai. 33 Until Moses had done speaking with them, he put a veil on his face. 34 But when Moses went in before the Lord to speak with him, he took the veil off, until he came out. And he came out, and spake unto the children of Israel that which he was commanded. 35 And the children of Israel saw the face of Moses, that the skin of Moses' face shone, and Moses put the veil upon his face again, until he went in to speak with him. Exodus 35 1 And Moses gathered all the congregation of the children of Israel together, and said unto them, These are the words which the Lord hath commanded, that ye should do them. Two six days shall work be done, but on the seventh day there shall be to you an holy day, a Sabbath of rest to the Lord, whosoever doth work therein shall be put to death. 3 Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitations upon the Sabbath day. 4 And Moses spake unto all the congregation of the children of Israel, saying, This is the thing which the Lord commanded, saying, 5 Take ye from among you an offering unto the Lord, whosoever is of a willing heart, 
let him bring it, an offering of the Lord, gold, and silver, and brass. Six and blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair. Seven and ram skins dyed red, and badger's skins, and shittim wood. Eight and oil for the light, and spices for anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. Nine and onyx stones, and stones to be set for the ephod, and for the breastplate. Ten and every wise hearted among you shall come, and make all that the Lord hath commanded. Eleven the tabernacle, his tent, and his covering, his tatches, and his boards, his bars, his pillars, and his sockets. Twelve the ark, and the staves thereof, with the mercy seat, and the veil of the covering. Thirteen the table, and his staves, and all his vessels, and the shoe bread. Fourteen the candlestick also for the light, and his furniture, and his lamps, with the oil for the light. 15 And the incense altar, and his staves, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the door at the entering in of the tabernacle. 16 The altar of burnt offering, with his brazen grate, his staves, and all his vessels, the labor and his foot. 17 The hangings of the court, his pillars, and their sockets, and the hanging for the door of the court. 18 The pins of the tabernacle, and the pins of the court, and their cords. 19 The cloths of service, to do service in the holy place, the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and the garments of his sons, to minister in the priest's office. 20 And all the congregation of the children of Israel departed from the presence of Moses. 21 And they came, every one whose heart stirred him up, and every one whom his spirit made willing, and they brought the Lord's offering to the work of the tabernacle of the congregation, and for all his service, and for the holy garments. 22 And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing-hearted, and brought bracelets, and earrings, and rings, and tablets, all jewels of gold, and every man that offered offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. 23 And every man, with whom was found blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine linen, and goat's hair, and red skins of rams, and badger's skins, brought them. 24 Every one that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought the Lord's offering, and every man, with whom was found shittim wood for any work of the service, brought it. 25 And all the women that were wise-hearted did spin with their hands, and brought that which they had spun, both of blue, and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine linen. 26 And all the women whose heart stirred them up in wisdom spun goat's hair, 27 And the rulers brought onyx stones, and stones to be set, for the ephod, and for the breastplate. 28 And spice, and oil for the light, and for the anointing oil, and for the sweet incense. 29 The children of Israel brought a willing offering unto the Lord, every man and woman, whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work, which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hand of Moses. 30 And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See, the Lord hath called by name Bezaleel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. 31 And he hath filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. 32 And to devise curious works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass. 33 And in the cutting of stones, to set them, and in carving of wood, to make any manner of cunning work. 34 And he hath put in his heart that he may teach, both he, and Aholiab, the son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan. 35 Them hath he filled with wisdom of heart, to work all manner of work, of the engraver, and of the cunning workman, and of the embroiderer, in blue, and in purple, in scarlet, and in fine linen, and of the weaver, even of them that do any work, and of those that devise cunning work. Exodus 36 One then wrought Bezaleel and Ahaliab, and every wise-hearted man, in whom the Lord put wisdom and understanding to know how to work all manner of work for the service of the sanctuary, according to all that the Lord had commanded. 2 And Moses called Bezaleel and Ahaliab, and every wise-hearted man, in whose heart the Lord had put wisdom, 
even every one whose heart stirred him up to come unto the work to do it. 3 And they received of Moses all the offering, which the children of Israel had brought for the work of the service of the sanctuary, to make it with all. And they brought yet unto him free offerings every morning. 4 And all the wise men, that wrought all the work of the sanctuary, came every man from his work which they made. 5 And they spake unto Moses, saying, The people bring much more than enough for the service of the work, which the Lord commanded to make. 6 And Moses gave commandment, and they caused it to be proclaimed throughout the camp, saying, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary. So the people were restrained from bringing. 7 For the stuff they had was sufficient for all the work to make it, and too much. 8 And every wise-hearted man among them that wrought the work of the tabernacle made ten curtains of fine twined linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, with cherubims of cunning work made he them. 9 The length of one curtain was twenty and eight cubits, and the breadth of one curtain four cubits, the curtains were all of one size. 10 And he coupled the five curtains one unto another, and the other five curtains he coupled one unto another. 11 And he made loops of blue on the edge of one curtain from the selvage in the coupling, likewise he made in the uttermost side of another curtain, in the coupling of the second. 12 50 loops made he in one curtain, and 50 loops made he in the edge of the curtain which was in the coupling of the second, the loops held one curtain to another. 13 And he made 50 tatches of gold, and coupled the curtains one unto another with the tatches, so it became one tabernacle. 14 And he made curtains of goat's hair for the tent over the tabernacle, 11 curtains he made them. 15 The length of one curtain was 30 cubits, and 4 cubits was the breadth of one curtain, the 11 curtains were of one size. 16 And he coupled 5 curtains by themselves, and 6 curtains by themselves. 17 And he made 50 loops upon the uttermost edge of the curtain in the coupling, and 50 loops made he upon the edge of the curtain which cooleth the second. 18 And he made 50 tatches of brass to couple the tent together, that it might be one. 19 And he made a covering for the tent of ram skins dyed red, and a covering of badger's skins above that. 20 And he made boards for the tabernacle of shittim wood, standing up. 21 The length of a board was 10 cubits, and the breadth of a board 1 cubit and a half. 22 One board had two tenons, equally distant one from another, thus did he make for all the boards of the tabernacle. 23 And he made boards for the tabernacle, 20 boards for the south side southward. 24 And 40 sockets of silver he made under the 20 boards, two sockets under one board for his two tenons, and two sockets under another board for his two tenons. 25 And for the other side of the tabernacle, which is toward the north corner, he made 20 boards. 26 And there 40 sockets of silver, two sockets under one board, and two sockets under another board. 27 And for the sides of the tabernacle westward he made six boards. 28 And two boards made he for the corners of the tabernacle in the two sides. 29 And they were coupled beneath, and coupled together at the head thereof, to one ring, thus he did to both of them in both the corners. 30 And there were eight boards, and their sockets were sixteen sockets of silver, under every board two sockets. 31 And he made bars of shittim wood, five for the boards of the one side of the tabernacle. 32 And five bars for the boards of the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the tabernacle for the sides westward. 33 And he made the middle bar to shoot through the boards from the one end to the other. 34 And he overlaid the boards with gold, and made their rings of gold to be places for the bars, and overlaid the bars with gold. 35 And he made a veil of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, with cherubims made he it of cunning work. 36 And he made there unto four pillars of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold, their hooks were of gold, and he cast for them four sockets of silver. 37 And he made an hanging for the tabernacle door of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, of needlework. 38 And the five pillars of it with their hooks, and he overlaid their chapiteers and their fillets with gold, but their five sockets were of brass. Exodus 37 
one and Bezaliel made the ark of Shittim wood, two cubits and a half was the length of it, and a cubit and a half the breadth of it, and a cubit and a half the height of it. Two and he overlaid it with pure gold within and without, and made a crown of gold to it round about. Three and he cast for it four rings of gold, to be set by the four corners of it, even two rings upon the one side of it, and two rings upon the other side of it. Four and he made staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold. Five and he put the staves into the rings by the sides of the ark, to bear the ark. Six and he made the mercy seat of pure gold, two cubits and a half was the length thereof, and one cubit and a half the breadth thereof. Seven and he made two cherubims of gold, beaten out of one piece made he them, on the two ends of the mercy seat. Eight one cherub on the end on this side, and another cherub on the other end on that side, out of the mercy seat made he the cherubims on the two ends thereof. Nine and the cherubims spread out their wings on high, and covered with their wings over the mercy seat, with their faces one to another, even to the mercy seat ward were the faces of the cherubims. Ten and he made the table of shittim wood, two cubits was the length thereof, and a cubit the breadth thereof, and a cubit and a half the height thereof. Eleven and he overlaid it with pure gold, and made there unto a crown of gold round about. Twelve also he made there unto a border of an hand breadth round about, and made a crown of gold for the border thereof round about. Thirteen and he cast for it four rings of gold, and put the rings upon the four corners that were in the four feet thereof. Fourteen over against the border were the rings, the places for the staves to bear the table. Fifteen and he made the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold, to bear the table. Sixteen and he made the vessels which were upon the table, his dishes, and his spoons, and his bowls, and his covers to cover with all, of pure gold. Seventeen and he made the candlestick of pure gold, of beaten work made he the candlestick, his shaft, and his branch, his bowls, his knops, and his flowers, were of the same. Eighteen and six branches going out of the sides thereof, three branches of the candlestick out of the one side thereof, and three branches of the candlestick out of the other side thereof. Nineteen three bowls made after the fashion of almonds in one branch, a knop, and a flower, and three bowls made like almonds in another branch, a knop, and a flower, so throughout the six branches going out of the candlestick. Twenty and in the candlestick were four bowls made like almonds, his knops, and his flowers. Twenty-one and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, and a knop under two branches of the same, according to the six branches going out of it. Twenty-two their knops and their branches were of the same, all of it was one beaten work of pure gold. Twenty-three and he made his seven lamps, and his snuffers, and his snuff dishes, of pure gold. Twenty-four of a talent of pure gold made he it, and all the vessels thereof. Twenty-five and he made the incense altar of shittim wood, the length of it was a cubit, and the breadth of it a cubit, it was four square, and two cubits was the height of it, the horns thereof were of the same. Twenty-six and he overlaid it with pure gold, both the top of it, and the sides thereof round about, and the horns of it, also he made unto it a crown of gold round about. Twenty-seven and he made two rings of gold for it under the crown thereof, by the two corners of it, upon the two sides thereof, to be places for the staves to bear it withal. Twenty-eight and he made the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with gold. Twenty-nine and he made the holy anointing oil, and the pure incense of sweet spices, according to the work of the apothecary. Exodus 38 1 and he made the altar of burnt offering of shittim wood, five cubits was the length thereof, and five cubits the breadth thereof, it was four square, and three cubits the height thereof. 2 and he made the horns thereof on the four corners of it, the horns thereof were of the same, and he overlaid it with brass. 3 and he made all the vessels of the altar, the pots, and the shovels, and the basins, and the flesh hooks, and the fire pans, all the vessels thereof made he of brass. 4 and he made for the altar a brazen grate of network under the compass thereof beneath unto the midst of it. 5 and he cast four rings for the four ends of the grate of brass, to be places for the staves. 
6 And he made the staves of shittim wood, and overlaid them with brass. 7 And he put the staves into the rings on the sides of the altar, to bear it withal, he made the altar hollow with boards. 8 And he made the laver of brass, and the foot of it of brass, of the looking glasses of the women assembling, which assembled at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. 9 And he made the court, on the south side southward the hangings of the court were of fine twined linen, an hundred cubits. 10 Their pillars were twenty, and their brazen sockets twenty, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets were of silver. 11 And for the north side the hangings were an hundred cubits, their pillars were twenty, and their sockets of brass twenty, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. 12 And for the west side were hangings of fifty cubits, their pillars ten, and their sockets ten, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver. 13 And for the east side eastward fifty cubits. 14 The hangings of the one side of the gate were fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. 15 And for the other side of the court gate, on this hand and that hand, were hangings of fifteen cubits, their pillars three, and their sockets three. 16 All the hangings of the court roundabout were of fine twined linen. 17 And the sockets for the pillars were of brass, the hooks of the pillars and their fillets of silver, and the overlaying of their chapiteers of silver, and all the pillars of the court were filleted with silver. 18 And the hanging for the gate of the court was needlework, of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, and twenty cubits was the length, and the height in the breadth was five cubits, answerable to the hangings of the court. 19 And their pillars were four, and their sockets of brass four, their hooks of silver, and the overlaying of their chapiteers and their fillets of silver. 20 And all the pins of the tabernacle, and of the court round about, were of brass. 21 This is the sum of the tabernacle, even of the tabernacle of testimony, as it was counted, according to the commandment of Moses, for the service of the Levites, by the hand of Ithamar, son to Aaron the priest. 22 And Bezaleel the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah, made all that the Lord commanded Moses. 23 And with him was Ahaliab, son of Ahisamach, of the tribe of Dan, an engraver, and a cunning workman, and an embroiderer in blue, and in purple, and in scarlet, and fine linen. 24 All the gold that was occupied for the work in all the work of the holy place, even the gold of the offering, was twenty and nine talents, and seven hundred and thirty shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. 25 And the silver of them that were numbered of the congregation was an hundred talents, and a thousand seven hundred and threescore and fifteen shekels, after the shekel of the sanctuary. 26 A becca for every man, that is, half a shekel, after the shekel of the sanctuary, for every one that went to be numbered, from twenty years old and upward, for six hundred thousand and three thousand and five hundred and fifty men. Twenty-seven and of the hundred talents of silver were cast the sockets of the sanctuary, and the sockets of the veil, and hundred sockets of the hundred talents, a talent for a socket. Twenty-eight and of the thousand seven hundred seventy and five shekels he made hooks for the pillars, and overlaid their chapiteers, and filleted them. Twenty-nine and the brass of the offering was seventy talents, and two thousand and four hundred shekels. Thirty and therewith he made the sockets to the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and the brazen altar, and the brazen grate for it, and all the vessels of the altar. Thirty-one and the sockets of the court round about, and the sockets of the court gate, and all the pins of the tabernacle, and all the pins of the court round about. Exodus 39 one and of the blue, and purple, and scarlet, they made cloths of service, to do service in the holy place, and made the holy garments for Aaron, as the Lord commanded Moses. 2 And he made the ephod of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. 3 And they did beat the gold into thin plates, and cut it into wires, to work it in the blue, and in the purple, and in the scarlet, and in the fine linen, with cunning work. For they made shoulder pieces for it, to couple it together, by the two edges was it coupled together. 5 And the curious girdle of his ephod, 
that was upon it, was of the same, according to the work thereof, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen, as the Lord commanded Moses. 6 And they wrought onyx stones enclosed in ouches of gold, graven, as signets are graven, with the names of the children of Israel. 7 And he put them on the shoulders of the ephod, that they should be stones for a memorial to the children of Israel, as the Lord commanded Moses. 8 And he made the breastplate of cunning work, like the work of the ephod, of gold, blue, and purple, and scarlet, and fine twined linen. 9 It was four square, they made the breastplate double, a span was the length thereof, and a span the breadth thereof, being doubled. 10 And they set in it four rows of stones, the first row was a sardius, a topaz, and a carbuncle, this was the first row. 11 And the second row, an emerald, a sapphire, and a diamond. 12 And the third row, a ligure, an agate, and an amethyst. 13 And the fourth row, a beryl, an onyx, and a jasper, they were enclosed in ouches of gold in their enclosings. 14 And the stones were according to the names of the children of Israel, 12, according to their names, like the engravings of a signet, every one with his name, according to the twelve tribes. 15 And they made upon the breastplate chains at the ends, of wreathen work of pure gold. 16 And they made two ouches of gold, and two gold rings, and put the two rings in the two ends of the breastplate. 17 And they put the two wreathen chains of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. 18 And the two ends of the two wreathen chains they fastened in the two ouches, and put them on the shoulder pieces of the ephod, before it. 19 And they made two rings of gold, and put them on the two ends of the breastplate, upon the border of it, which was on the side of the ephod inward. 20 And they made two other golden rings, and put them on the two sides of the ephod underneath, toward the forepart of it, over against the other coupling thereof, above the curious girdle of the ephod. 21 And they did bind the breastplate by his rings unto the rings of the ephod with a lace of blue, that it might be above the curious girdle of the ephod, and that the breastplate might not be loosed from the ephod, as the Lord commanded Moses. 22 And he made the robe of the ephod of woven work, all of blue. 23 And there was an hole in the midst of the robe, as the hole of an habergeon, with a band round about the hole, that it should not rend. 24 And they made upon the hems of the robe pomegranates of blue, and purple, and scarlet, and twined linen. 25 And they made bells of pure gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates upon the hem of the robe, round about between the pomegranates. 26 A bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate, round about the hem of the robe to minister in, as the Lord commanded Moses. 27 And they made coats of fine linen of woven work for Aaron, and for his sons. 28 And a mitre of fine linen, and goodly bonnets of fine linen, and linen breeches of fine twined linen. 29 And a girdle of fine twined linen, and blue, and purple, and scarlet, of needlework, as the Lord commanded Moses. 30 And they made the plate of the holy crown of pure gold, and wrote upon it a writing, like to the engravings of a signet, holiness to the Lord. 31 And they tied unto it a lace of blue, to fasten it on high upon the mitre, as the Lord commanded Moses. 32 Thus was all the work of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation finished, and the children of Israel did according to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did they. 33 And they brought the tabernacle unto Moses, the tent, and all his furniture, his tatches, his boards, his bars, and his pillars, and his sockets. 34 And the covering of ram skins dyed red, and the covering of badger's skins, and the veil of the covering. 35 The ark of the testimony, and the staves thereof, and the mercy seat. 36 The table, and all the vessels thereof, and the shoe bread. 37 The pure candlestick, with the lamps thereof, even with the lamps to be set in order, and all the vessels thereof, and the oil for light. 38 And the golden altar, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the hanging for the tabernacle door. 39 The brazen altar, and his grate of brass, his staves, and all his vessels, 
the labor and his foot. 40 The hangings of the court, his pillars, and his sockets, and the hanging for the court gate, his cords, and his pins, and all the vessels of the service of the tabernacle, for the tent of the congregation. 41 The cloths of service to do service in the holy place, and the holy garments for Aaron the priest, and his son's garments, to minister in the priest's office. 42 According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so the children of Israel made all the work. 43 And Moses did look upon all the work, and, behold, they have done it as the Lord had commanded, even so had they done it, and Moses blessed them. Exodus 40 1 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 2 On the first day of the first month shalt thou set up the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. 3 And thou shalt put therein the ark of the testimony, and cover the ark with the veil. 4 And thou shalt bring in the table, and set in order the things that are to be set in order upon it, and thou shalt bring in the candlestick, and light the lamps thereof. 5 And thou shalt set the altar of gold for the incense before the ark of the testimony, and put the hanging of the door to the tabernacle. 6 And thou shalt set the altar of the burnt offering before the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation. 7 And thou shalt set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and shalt put water therein. 8 And thou shalt set up the court round about, and hang up the hanging at the court gate. 9 And thou shalt take the anointing oil, and anoint the tabernacle, and all that is therein, and shalt hallow it, and all the vessels thereof, and it shall be holy. 10 And thou shalt anoint the altar of the burnt offering, and all his vessels, and sanctify the altar, and it shall be an altar most holy. 11 And thou shalt anoint the laver and his foot, and sanctify it. 12 And thou shalt bring Aaron and his sons unto the door of the tabernacle of the congregation, and wash them with water. 13 And thou shalt put upon Aaron the holy garments, and anoint him, and sanctify him, that he may minister unto me in the priest's office. 14 And thou shalt bring his sons, and clothe them with coats. 15 And thou shalt anoint them, as thou didst anoint their father, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office, for their anointing shall surely be an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. 16 Thus did Moses, according to all that the Lord commanded him, so did he. 17 And it came to pass in the first month in the second year, on the first day of the month, that the tabernacle was reared up. 18 And Moses reared up the tabernacle, and fastened his sockets, and set up the boards thereof, and put in the bars thereof, and reared up his pillars. 19 And he spread abroad the tent over the tabernacle, and put the covering of the tent above upon it, as the Lord commanded Moses. 20 And he took and put the testimony into the ark, and set the staves on the ark, and put the mercy seat above upon the ark. 21 And he brought the ark into the tabernacle, and set up the veil of the covering, and covered the ark of the testimony, as the Lord commanded Moses. 22 And he put the table in the tent of the congregation, upon the side of the tabernacle northward, without the veil. 23 And he set the bread in order upon it before the Lord, as the Lord had commanded Moses. 24 And he put the candlestick in the tent of the congregation, over against the table, on the side of the tabernacle southward. 25 And he lighted the lamps before the Lord, as the Lord commanded Moses. 26 And he put the golden altar in the tent of the congregation before the veil. 27 And he burned sweet incense thereon, as the Lord commanded Moses. 28 And he set up the hanging at the door of the tabernacle. 29 And he put the altar of burnt offering by the door of the tabernacle of the tent of the congregation, and offered upon it the burnt offering and the meat offering, as the Lord commanded Moses. 30 And he set the laver between the tent of the congregation and the altar, and put water there, to wash withal. 31 And Moses and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet thereat. 32 When they went into the tent of the congregation, and when they came near unto the altar, they washed, as the Lord commanded Moses. 33 And he reared up the court round about the tabernacle and the altar, and set up the hanging of the court gate. So Moses finished the work. 
34 Then a cloud covered the tent of the congregation, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. 35 And Moses was not able to enter into the tent of the congregation, because the cloud abode thereon, and the glory of the Lord filled the tabernacle. 36 And when the cloud was taken up from over the tabernacle, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. 37 But if the cloud were not taken up, then they journeyed not till the day that it was taken up. 38 For the cloud of the Lord was upon the tabernacle by day, and fire was on it by night, in the sight of all the house of Israel, throughout all their journeys.